This is a video instructional for the OSCE on abdominal examination. Before you start the abdominal examination, you have to greet the patient and introduce yourself to the patient. You have to explain the purpose and conduct of the examination, and you have to use language or vocabulary that is appropriate and understandable for the patient. Note that if you have already introduced yourself during the initial interview or history taking, then you don't have to introduce yourself again. For the abdominal exam, you have to instruct the patient to empty her bladder and position the patient in a supine position with hands on the side. Then expose the abdomen. Ensure privacy by draping the patient appropriately and doing the abdominal examination inside a closed room or behind a closed curtain. The abdomen should be examined utilizing the standard techniques of inspection, auscultation, percussion, and palpation. So for the inspection, on inspection, note the contour and shape of the abdomen. See whether it's flabby, flat, distended, or scaphoid in shape. Is there bulging of the flanks? Are there any obvious masses? Is there visible peristalsis? Observe also the movement of the abdominal wall with respiration. Note also the general appearance of the skin. Does it have striae? Any scars from a previous abdominal operation? Any discolorations? Next, we have auscultation. Auscultation is recommended to precede palpation or percussion so as not to stimulate or depress resting bowel activity. And this is accomplished by placing the diaphragm or the bell of the stethoscope lightly in close contact with the abdominal wall. So we have to auscultate all four quadrants of the abdomen. Auscultation aids in the assessment of intestinal peristalsis, especially when we use the diaphragm. We can also use the bell of the stethoscope to hear four signs of brewery. So next, we do abdominal percussion. And we have to do this on all four quadrants of the abdomen. And then we we'll check for fluid wave. And then finally, we perform abdominal palpation using the two-hand deep palpation. Palpation is performed to assess tenderness, organ enlargement, and any masses. So at this point, we identify the pathology and determine its size. We can either use our fingers to estimate its size or use a measuring tape. Also, we note its location, consistency, whether it's soft, doughy, cystic, firm or hard, its mobility, whether it's movable, limited or fixed, and of course, the presence of tenderness. So in concluding the visit, we have to explain the findings to the patient and entertain and answer questions from the patient. And finally, we thank the patient for her cooperation.